So this is DJI's cheapest drone, the DJI Neo, and it only costs about 199 US dollars. In today's video, I'm gonna give you eight reasons to buy it. So let's get into it. So the first reason is that this is DJI's cheapest drone. Like I said, only 199 US dollars, and you can fly this without the use of a controller. So you basically press one button and the drone will execute a set of quick shots that you can select on the top here. And you also have a custom profile here where you can select between direction track, helix, or boomerang. Some of my favorite features. Helix, which is by far my most used uh, a quick shot when it comes to flying the DJI Mini 4 Pro and this just adds to the whole versatility of all aspects and you can use this to transition between different locations to make your shot look a little bit more unique and you basically have a pocket sized drone that you can take with you everywhere and if you go through airport security for example no one is gonna notice this and they always say bring out whatever you have that is bigger than your phone so you can just leave this in your bag and go through security without any issues which is one of the benefits when you travel with this one now the second reason is that you don't need to use a controller in order to fly this you can basically press and customize the different buttons here using your smartphone or you can fly the neo with your smartphone and the virtual joysticks in the dji fly app and when it comes to future firmware updates you can also update the firmware on the dji neo through the dji fly app without needing a controller which is fantastic so if you're out flying doing some basic quick shots and you want to fly this manually when you connect it uh, to the DJI Neo, you will automatically get this prompt which says that there is a new firmware available for a download. And you can also customize the different settings here on the different uh, quick shots using your smartphone. So basically there is no need to use a controller if you just want to use this as your pet when you're out uh, traveling and you want to get some creative b-rolls or if you just want to take some easy selfies, some videos for social media or some family videos which this is going to be perfect for. Number three is that this is only 135 grams which goes back to how easy it is to travel with and because it has a finished design there is no loose ends like we see on the Mini 4 Pro here which has the the propellers which is basically flexing around here so you would need to have a prop guard on this to have it more conveniently placed in your pocket but with the DJI Neo you have everything just locked in place and we also have some prop guards which you can easily just take on and off depending on where you fly who is flying it and if you're flying it inside or outside but if you're flying it outside I do recommend to take these off because these adds a little bit of weight according to DJI so I would recommend just flying this without the prop cards but this is a complete design it's 135 grams with the battery included so if you take the battery out it's going to be even less and this actually fits in your pocket so this is the first drone that i've used that actually fits in my pocket as a complete device which does not require a controller so the only thing i need to bring if i'm going on a hike with my wife for example and my son or travel to a place where i only want to bring the drone maybe uh, an action camera as well you know I can only bring this and my smartphone I don't have to bring a bulky controller which just makes everything a little bit more convenient when it comes to uh, lightweight traveling number four is that this is the cheapest standalone drone that you can buy which also has multiple flying options it doesn't mean that you have to get all the accessories right away if you don't have it already but you have the option to progress as you fly this so when you're done with flying with the smartphone and the virtual joysticks and you you kind of mastered that area and you mastered the self-tracking uh, and the quick shots and what you can do and you want to advance into more or you know aerial shots which has a longer range as well you can also upgrade to something like the dji rc2 controller uh, which has a built-in screen and that means that you can use your phone as your phone but you can also get the fly more combo which includes the rc n3 controller and connect your phone to that but you basically have the option to progress as you fly and with this you can also use the motion controller 3 and the goggles uh, 3 and then progress into fpv flying which is also 
also amazing to practice when it comes to the DJI Neo. It basically has all the different flying options that DJI offers in this tiny 135 gram drop. Moving over to number five, this is going to be perfect for vloggers, families, and actually kids that shows a lot of interest in drones or people that just want to learn manual FPV as well as having the option to fly with a normal controller. So for vloggers, for example, you can go out, you can use this as your secondary camera to shoot some B-roll of you actually vlogging. And if you have kids, you know, they can try this because it's one of the the safest drones to use because of its low weight and that we also have these uh, prop guards here which makes it a little bit safer for the kids to practice hand landing or catching it with two hands whether this is to just grip it like this flip it over or to use both your hands and then need the drone it's going to be much easier and much safer for those kids to practice on something like this and flying fpv with this because it is slow it's slower than the avada a lot slower and because of the low weight as well it's not going to go as fast but you know it's the perfect drone for kids to practice uh, fpv flying as well whether this is to start in normal sport mode or just go straight into manual fpv mode this is by far the safest drone for those kids to try fpv because you have everything built in you have the safety system and uh, it's just fantastic it's just a fantastic drone for kids to to play with and let's say you go on a trip with your family you can use this you can just bring this you don't have to have any controller at all you can dial in the settings on the different quick shots as you wish and then you can take a family photo by using spotlight or you can take a bunch of different quick shots using this and then put those together and then you can upload those to social media just keep them on your computer for example and then you can watch them later on your tv with your family now moving over to number six here, this is hassle-free transfer for easy posts on social media with quick transfer. And one of the things here now is that we have a higher transfer speed on the DJI Neo uh, using your smartphone than we have on the Mini 4 Pro, or is it the same? Well, it doesn't matter, but we have the same or more than the DJI Mini 4 Pro, which is fantastic. On the Mini 4 Pro, it was super fast to transfer the videos over to your smartphone, and then you could share them on social media right away. And you can actually do the exact same thing with the DJI Neo, and we have Wi-Fi speeds up to 30 megabits per second. And because the bit rate is not like a, a thousand on this one, the transfer and the file size is gonna be smaller, so it's gonna be easier and faster and more convenient to transfer the files from the DJI Neo over to your smartphone. And the next one is that the extra batteries on this does only cost $39 compared to the batteries on the DJI Mini 4 Pro, for example, which costs $65. Or if you decide to get the Avada because that can also fly FPV, you know, the batteries on that one is gonna be $129. So only $39 on this one. That means you can just buy some additional batteries. If you just want to buy the drone, you can go on and you can buy a bunch of different batteries. So let's say you buy three batteries. It's gonna be the same price as one battery from the DJI Avada to you and uh, that means you're gonna have more fun more time in the air and you can pull off like i uh, 60 or 80 different quick shots with these batteries in total which is uh, quite a lot actually when you're out let's say on a week's trip pulling 80 quick shots from different locations i mean you have a pretty solid um, cinematic travel sequence there which you can just you know transition in between so only 39 us dollars for this uh, batteries which is uh, pretty nice and you can also get the charge hub which will charge all these batteries simultaneously in about 45 minutes so that's all batteries fully charged in 45 minutes now, the last one, number eight, is that you can also buy this as a fly more combo, which will basically give you everything that you need to get started, everything that you need to have a lot of fun. So this will give you the DJI Neo, of course, with the included battery on this one. It will also give you the RCN3 controller, so you can connect your smartphone to this and have the option to change all the different settings like sharpness, uh, noise reduction, go in and tweak the uh, uh, stick sensibility, 
and also add histograms and overexposure warning to help you improve the overall image quality because you can see if the highlights are clipping, the shadows are clipping and so on. So there's a lot of benefits by getting the Fly More combo. You also get two extra batteries and this uh, charging hub here, which I mentioned, and this will keep you going for, for many hours because you can just use a power bank to charge the batteries when you're out on the go. I'm using this one right here. Uh, this is actually one which is, is hard to get hold of now because it's so old, but this is the Anker Power Core Elite uh, 3, I think, 5,000 or 26,500 milliamp hours. So this is gonna, you know, put some juice into those batteries when you're out on, uh, on a trip. So yeah, I would say that's the main reasons to get the DJI Neo because you have all the different aspects of flying. You have FPV with the goggles three. It might change in the future. Something else might be compatible as well. We've seen it before. You can also fly with the uh, DJI uh, RCN3 controller, which comes with the Fly More combo. You can also fly manual FPV if you have the FPV controller 3, or if you just want the best of the best controllers, you can get the RC2 controller. I'm really hoping for an RC3 controller coming soon, which um, has an even brighter screen. This has 700 nits, never been an issue for me, but I just, you know, everything helps and it's been 700 nits for a very long time. So I hope that we can see a new controller on that area soon, which has some, you know, more upgrades to it. So yeah, I would say that these are the reasons to buy the DJI Neo. Do you have any reasons to buy it that I left out? Let me know in the comments below if you do that and, uh, of course, it's gonna have some limits. If you're coming from even the DJI Mini 4 Pro here, you're gonna see some limits in this one. So make sure to check out my five reasons not to buy this, which is a link down below, or it's coming depending on which one of these videos that I upload first. But yeah, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and drop a like if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.